Hello, Mr. Lemire. Hello, Rodrigo. Special mission. Hi, yeah, it's Esme. Yeah, Hi. Yeah, it's Esme. Yeah. I need a special mission. So you want that today? Yeah. Like today, today. Yeah, today, today, today. You. Yeah. And it's coming out when? Okay, I, 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 that, that's a bit of a Mission Impossible, but I can do that. You will, you will, you will. You I will. mean, it is sunny, yeah. but it is also minus five, and you want it to look like summer. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's sunny like summer, oh. but I don't think summer is normally minus five outside. No, so what? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And there are no leaves on the trees. No. You do it. Okay, I'll do my best. You we'll will. see what I can do All for right. the new spring summer collection. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye. Bye, bye. Well, this is going to be difficult and I'm probably going to get very cold today. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> All right, team, we've got a mission. Who's up for it? Mickey, you're too old and you're retired. You're not up for the mission. Joey, Joey, you up for the mission? Joey, you're, you're injured. I'm sorry, but this is not a mission for you. Duke, you're too small. Casper, you're up. All right, so I thought I would take you all along with me for a day in the life because a lot is happening. Obviously, we're taking Casper out. We're doing a bit of a photo shoot. First thing I need to do is feed the donkeys. The horses are all done. It's just the donkeys need to do because they actually have a new paddock at the moment or they're in a different paddock. So I thought I'd show you them, give you a little donkey update. Uh, I'm just doing their food now. I, what I do is I put Bruno's food in a bit of water because he does get choked sometimes so we have to be really careful to make sure that his food is nice and sloppy so I'll just let that settle for a bit and I'll do the other boys or other boys in Willow other other boy in Willow hey Tobs alright yours is that one there we go Welcome to the paddock that we're currently using for the donkeys. This actually used to be the horse's summer paddock, but we didn't use it last summer just because we had so much grass that if not, we were worried that they were going to get laminitis or get a little bit too porky. So the donkeys are here at the moment, kind of mowing it down. They seem really happy. Obviously, you can see it's an absolutely huge space. They have a field shelter as well, which is Mickey and Casper's old stable that they have down here. Um, so they have shelter, but they seem really happy. Um, it's actually quite nice because down here they can see like Mickey and Duke's paddock, they can see the stables, but they also have a little bit of quiet time because it's down here near the woods as well. So I think they're enjoying it. Welcome to the back of the horse box. This is going to be my changing room for today because my mission is to take pictures of the new Lemieux spring summer collection, but it's the middle of winter and somehow I've got to try and make it look like summer. So I'm gonna try my best, but first I thought I would show you the new colors because I've got to say, I think this might be one of my favorite collections, especially this pad here, the Wisteria. I think this might be my new favorite color. How gorgeous is this? I actually really love the color lilac. So um, there's no surprise that I really love this. And then I like how they've got like a little bit of a different contrasting color on the binding. Next we have Kiwi for any lime green lovers out there. I feel like I'm going to wear this so much in the summer, especially when it comes to hacking because it's such a bright colour. And I absolutely love the green on the outside here. There's actually a jacket which is the same as this green. I will look up in a sec what colour that is because it's gorgeous, but this is Kiwi. And then last but not least, we have Mist and on a grey horse, this baby blue colour. It's gonna look gorgeous. So anyway, um, those are the colors. I obviously have the matching bits and bobs um, to put on Casper in a second. But first, I need to get my tack clean, I need to get a Casper clean, and I need to get everything in the horse box. Oh, 
Are you excited? Good boy. Now on our way to the woods, we've got Casper in the back, we've also got Lydia here, who you guys might know from my South Africa videos. She's gonna be helping doing like the, I was gonna say ear wrangling, like basically getting Casper's ears forward and posing for the camera and helping tack up while I kind of get changed because there's three different outfits that we need to do. We also have photographer Dave here who will definitely pick slate his face out um, in the final edit. Um, but he's gonna be helping, obviously taking the photos. Uh, but anyway, I will see you all when we're there. Joey's show rug on, don't you? All right, Mr. Caspi, should we take your travel boots off then, fella? Oh, and he should decide what colour to put on him first. I think the wisteria could be really nice. Or the kiwi. I feel like the kiwi is going to be really bold. It depends where we want to take photos. Because there's all the dark green there that might look quite good with the wisteria just to make it look more springy. Because that might be a little tricky. Have you seen the new colours yet? So there is Wisteria and then we have, I think we might do the um, mist last because that's a dressage pad just so we can do the two jumping ones and then we have a kiwi which is very cool, that's very snazzy. Alright so, thank you very much and then I need to decide what breeches I need to wear with this outfit because I've got my little jackets in here so probably gonna be wearing this one with the wisteria. I think that'll work well. Okay. I'll see you want some changed. So I am really loving the outfit, especially I think this is the Astra jacket or the Skylar one. I need to double check which one's which, but this is gorgeous. I love how it's sort of a darker colour to the wisteria and it matches the piping here. I just think it looks so pretty. And it's like matchy, but then like a little bit more muted, a little bit more subtle. And I think it just looks really good. Especially this colour on Casper. It looks so good with you being a grey. All right, let's put your little forelock in. I've made a bit of a problem got one left-handed glove and then I've got a second left-handed glove so um, yeah luckily I did bring two pairs of gloves because I thought you know what bring a different color just in case so I do have my gray ones so fingers crossed these are actually a proper pair and should work actually to be fair I think the gray does look very nice with the purple anyway so <laughs> I'm cleaning the dirt off the bottom of my boots because um, around the back there, where the back of the horse box is, it's really muddy, but then this bit's really stony, so my boots are dirty. There we go. That'll be fine. Cool. I'm not used to this luxury, having my horse tacked up for me and everything. I mean, it is making everything a bit more efficient, and I don't have to worry about Casper getting slobber on my beautiful clothes that need to be photographed um, while I'm getting him ready, so it's been a big help having Lydia here. Little pony. quickest ride of my life. Um, so next is Kiwi, I think we're gonna go for. So let me just put the stirrups up. Um, there's some really nice logs around the corner, which I feel like would be a good place to get some photos, just because we're in one place, but we need to try and make each destination kind of look 
different or each photo look like it's in a different des destination basically just so that it doesn't kind of look like it's all shot on the same day so for example i have like a different helmet i can put on as well as a different outfit but anyway uh lydia is it okay if you carry on unpacking casper while i get myself ready just so then we've we're time efficient hey yes and you're enjoying a snack aren't you caspi thank you very much bam and this is kiwi i mean it is a very bright color but I feel like it's probably going to be one of the pads that I get the most use out of because I wear Citroen all the time when I'm hacking because it's nice and bright like my high vis. I feel like it's definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe or Casper's wardrobe. It's him wearing it. So this is the Skylar jacket in Moss and I've got to say this is probably like one of my favourite colours. I love a sort of green like this is a very sort of country green. I also have the kiwi base layer on underneath. I, thought, I don't know if I should zip this up so you can't see it or if you like a little bit of a pop of the kiwi underneath because it does match with Casper then. I feel like that looks quite cute. You never know I might zip up some photos, um, change it around a bit but Casper looks very good. It is a very bright colour but I think on like a nice spring day it will really pop and look very cute. But anyway, time to get some more photos. complete the last one we have is mist so um I, that's in a dressage pad so i'm gonna put my dressage saddle on oh this is why you need a third person to help sometimes there's just so many things and so many like stuff to hold and luckily i can do the untacking now we've done the photo shoot because I don't have to worry about Casper getting slobber on me because that happened once got slobber all down my top and we were supposed to take photos of it and it looked awful <laughs> so last but not least we have mist which is again one of my new favorites it's just such a pretty blue i feel like everybody's been wanting lemure to do like pastel colors for a while and it's finally happened for this spring and summer also these denim like breeches or leggings are so nice and actually the color of this top is called denim so there we go again we've got the sort of two-tone color going on with the lighter blue and the darker blue i think this looks so nice doesn't it caspi it very much suits you, doesn't it? Anyway, last photos, let's go. Casper was a very good boy posing for the camera. So it's time to untack him, get his rug back on because it's quite chilly. I'm ready to put my like jogging bottoms and hoodie back on because um, I'm wearing spring summer stuff. And then we'll go back home. Well done, Caspi. Good boy. We are now having some cheese sandwiches for lunch on the way back home. Casper was such a good boy. We had a very successful photo shoot and we had so it was just a lot easier having an extra pair of hands so thank you lydia um also i am absolutely freezing i have put literally my joggers over the top of the outfit that i was wearing before and i've got my woolly hat on so hopefully i can warm up it's my hands and my feet that are really cold because taking spring summer photos in the middle of winter in february isn't always you know the warmest but anyway i will see you guys once we are back home I'm just putting my tack away and I've just realized I have run out of hangers. The saddle pad collection has got that big that I have no, no more hangers to put these three new ones on. So I'm gonna have to order some of them. Of course, you guys know that my saddle pad collection is out of control. It is ridiculous and you know, Lemire not helping. <laughs> They've added more to the collection, but I'm not mad about it. So thank you very much, Lemire. I'm very excited to put them up when I finally do have some hangers because then it's just going to add some more, more shades to the rainbow that we have here. <laughs> and there really are too many. Like, no normal person. No, no normal person has this many. I need help. Also, if you want an updated saddle pad collection, let me know in the comments because I feel like the last time I did one was quite a while ago. Also, let me know out of the three new colours which one your favourite is. 
It's really tricky. I think if I had to pick one, I'm probably gonna have to say Wisteria. Wis Wisteria or Mist. But then I feel like the Kiwi, I'm gonna wear the most because I'm gonna wear it all the time for hacking. So I feel like it's a really tricky one. Lemure, you've done a very good job because all three are just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, you guys can, you can just like chill here for the minute. I feel like that's okay. Oh, so soft. Until I get my new hangers, okay. You stay there. Welcome to the studio. I feel like you guys haven't been here for a while. Oh, let's not walk into the microphone. Um, so here we are. This is where I'm going to be sitting because um, now the horses are done, the photo shoot's done. I actually have some work to do in here. I've got some voiceover to do for TV, which is pretty cool. Um, normally I do like voiceover and things in the office of the blanket, but this is a little bit more high quality. So we have the very fancy microphone here. Also, um, in here we have lots of sponge on the walls and on the ceiling and things, just so it's not as echoey and it sounds really nice. Um, you guys might recognise here from previous videos that I filmed. I actually haven't done any studio like chatty inside videos for a while so let me know if you'd like a little bit more of that. Also behind me here we have a sign or like a board kind of thing from a meetup I did at Hickstead with Mickey. I want to say back in 2019 but I remember taking that photo with Mickey and Casper and that was actually when I hit around 100,000 subscribers so uh, that's pretty cool but anyway this uh, microphone here we're going to be using this is the road one um, so I'm going to go on to the mic now so you can hear the difference of what it's like with the vlog camera to this one hopefully you can hear a difference because this is a very expensive microphone but anyway I thought I would show like maybe a little bit of behind the scenes of me doing the voiceover I can't show too much obviously because it's all complicated confidential but there will probably be quite a few times where I mess up also I might have to take my really rustly coat off because it is very cold in here there is no heating um, hence the hoodie and hat to keep me warm but I might have to take it off because when I move it just sounds awful or I'm just gonna have to sit here very still with my iPad reading my lines I feel like I'm very pastel today I've got like a pastel top and hoodie and iPad you can tell that pastel colors are my favorite but anyway let's go Let's find my lines. Currently you can hear me on the normal vlog camera mic and now I'm gonna swap over to, and this is the Rode Studio mic. I feel like I need to do like a little bit of ASMR when I speak into this, what should I say? Hello, my name is Esme and today I'm going to be doing a voiceover for TV. Okay, that's probably enough. You probably don't wanna hear me. That's, I feel like sometimes it can be a bit creepy when you hear people like whispering into a microphone, but sometimes it can be quite relaxing. I don't know, I'm undecided. <laughs> I have a horse called Joey, who's probably very hungry right now because I've just heard him neigh. So I might have to go and get him a haylage net before I do this voiceover so he doesn't interrupt it by screaming in the background and going, Wee! That was not a good, that was more like a duke neigh. That was not a Joey neigh. A Joey neigh is like, That was probably a bit loud, sorry. RIP, headphone users. Okay, I need to get my script. All right, everybody. <coughs> I'm not the joker then. <laughs> All right, everybody. I have now finished my voiceover. I am whispering because I don't know why, but let me know in the comments what your favorite spring, summer Lumia collection color is. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Why did I sniff the mic?